people. Welcome to Canvas Crafts. My name is Kim and if you're new here, hello, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back guys. Love you, thank you so much. So I am here with an unboxing and I am not gonna be doing this, whatever one, I, I have three paintings here. We're only gonna unbox one. I'm just gonna grab one and whatever I grab, I grab, I don't know. But so here's the thing. I'm jumping on the DIY moon bandwagon of unboxings. And um, yeah, I ordered this in March, I believe. I ordered it during the uh, women's appreciation sale. So they had 50% off. Honestly, guys, I've been wanting to order from DIY moon for a very, very long time since I started diamond painting. And um, I did not know, so I'm gonna just throw this out there because I've watched a lot of DIY Moon videos and I didn't realize until I, I saw Diamond Painting with the Besties and she mentioned it, but I had already purchased this, that they have 50% uh, off your entire order for your first purchase. If I had known that, I probably would have bought from them quite a while ago, but uh, I didn't know about that coupon code I think it's always active. Just go. Apparently, they have a bunch of codes. They like interchange them. Just go check out uh, discounts on their website. I didn't realize they had that. Um, so, you know, they're on the more pricey side. And there's been a lot of controversy with DIY Moon lately. I'm not going to contribute to that because I have nothing to say. I'm a DIY Moon virgin. I have no business giving my two cents about you know, rend renderings and all that. But, you know, people who have done older versions and have new versions, like check out their videos uh, if you want to make an educated decision on whether or not you want to buy. Those videos have just started to come out. So I purchased these before all of that started happening. Um, I think that Diamonds and Washi, Katie, showed a very amazing example of like an old render style and a new render style. And honestly, I really love the old render style. Um, and that's why I always wanted to purchase from them. But then the cost was like holding me back if I had known about that coupon. Ugh. So with the women's um, appreciation sale, it was a limited amount of canvases. Like you had to choose canvases that were in that uh, grouping that they were given a sale on. So I don't even think that these canvases would have necessarily have been the canvases that I would have gotten if I had known. I had the whole store to my 50% off. So that was kind of a bummer when I realized that. Not saying that I don't love the, the paintings I got because I wouldn't have bought them. But, um, you know, I had to, I, I, you know, they have a lot of amazing artists, a lot of amazing paintings. It was hard to, to like narrow it down, even in that little grouping that they gave. Um, and, you know, I, I was like, oh, I want one from this artist. I want one from this artist. But if they didn't have a painting that really like, like grabbed me from, an, from the artist that I really wanted to try, I, I just didn't get it. I, I believe that all of these are rounds because they charge more for squares. Um, but I, I don't even remember, to be honest with you. So, uh, you know, let's just get into the, the unboxing because I've been really looking forward to this. And I got this a little a, a minute ago. I just haven't had a chance to do an unboxing. This is how they came. All three of them are in here. We're just going to grab one out. And... Uh, I will see what which one I get. So yeah, guys, if you've never ordered from them and you're really interested in ordering from them, I would say, you know, look to see if they have that first time buyer's coupon because now I can't use it because I'm no longer a first time buyer. But, um, you know, it is what it is. And um, I'm just gonna grab one of these. I'm gonna go for the middle. Yeah, I, I I never got uh, one of their fancy package boxes, which I would have really loved to, you know, I love like, 
like cutesy things and they used to do cutesy things with their boxes but this is their box now and it is um a branded box it just says diy moon shop all the way around uh it's a little crunched in the middle that's no big deal it's not wet it's not damaged in any way oh no water damage so it's it's perfectly fine that way um and the reason why I got three, even though I've never tried them before, is because their shipping is on the pricier side. And the more you get, the more it costs. But like one painting, one to three paintings wasn't that much of a jump, I think. Like I like kind of played around with it. And so, yeah, that's why I picked three. But um, there's a diamond on this end. And then this end shows the painting. And honestly, I don't even remember the name of this. It doesn't say the name and it is around diamond painting. It is this painting. It's a 50 by 67 centimeter round. And if we go inside of this and it doesn't tell us the name or the artist, uh, we will, I will stop the video and I would go, I'll go look on my uh, receipt just to give you guys all the, the deets. Yeah, so I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I know there's been a lot of talk, but honestly, another good thing I think about never doing one of theirs before. Oops, I just broke the box. I'm not sure how this was supposed to open. Was this not the way it was supposed to go? I'm not. Oh, it was supposed to open up. Okay, well, mine opens like that now. <laughs> so it looks like um, I was supposed to slice all of this and then open it like that but I only sliced one side and then I forced it open with my hawk like strength and I ripped my box and now that's how my box opens but if you get one and you've never done this before then open it like that <laughs> look at that I just made my own um special one of a kind okay so it does come in a dust cover and you can see there's no damage you know there's it's, it looks great so far. Um, and like I was saying, one I think one good thing about not having any of the old rendering style is I, I don't have anything to compare it to. So if it comes out gorgeous, it comes out gorgeous. You know, I'm not going to have anything to say, right? Other than look at it. So this is soft. You can see it is poked and scalloped. We love that. Okay. I'm going to pull out... I'm going to um, roll it backwards. Do I even need to? It doesn't feel like I need to. So we'll just unroll it like this. And let me see. Can I figure out which side is? Okay. I don't think I need to. It looks like it lays flat, like off the cuff here. And so I'm just going to flip it. And there she is, guys. Okay, so it does have all the information on it. She's gorgeous. I love it. I love it. She's beautiful. I mean, I don't know how she's going to render, but I figured um, I would go, I went with the 50 by 67 centimeter because I, I tend to go so large. And honestly, it might have also been I didn't have an option with the certain um, ones that were picked on the Women's Day. I can't remember. I'll be quite honest with you. But this is um, Yumiko, Yumiko by Margaret Mor Morales. So this is my first Margaret Morales. And here's a closer picture of the thumbnail. Yeah. And when I say thumbnail, I don't mean my actual thumbnail. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got jokes. Okay. Let's get back to the painting. So yeah, this, I, I, I mean, it's very clear. There is a shimmer to the canvas. You see the shimmer? And there's a large border around it. Now, the sticky does not go very far outside the border. No. You see, you can even fold it over and you see I'm folding it over and I literally fold it over up to the, almost up to the, the drill bed. Um, let's see on the side here. 
So the side, it comes out a little bit. It comes out to like halfway through the white. On this side, no. It goes right to the end of the drills. And up here, it's, it's a little bit on the white. So we have a large border. It's a double colored border. It's like silver and white around the entire painting. And we'll just do real quick, because there's not a whole lot on this. Um, it has their, their name, DIY Moon, and then the legend on the bottom here. And then um, the, the name, the size, and the artist. Uh, here is the legend. So you can see it's a lot of alphanumeric and then just a few um, symbols mixed in. This legend is very large and legible. There's 44 colors. It looks like they give me an option of a 209 AB. So they charted it as P and I can choose to do either just the plain 209 or I can chart the um, 209 AB. So real quick, here is our toolkit. We have a basic pen with a squishy. We have a white tray, a plate of wax, a caddy of wax with one round patty of wax, two multi-placers, and then a pair of thick, I mean, uh, pointy, sharp tweezers. So I guess they, so they give this with um, their squares as well as their rounds. All right, guys, I'm gonna pop you off and we're gonna take a quick tour of this canvas or we're gonna take a quick pan over of this canvas. So I'll be right back. Hope you enjoyed that pan over. We're gonna go into the bag of drills now. Okay, so they are individually bagged. Okay, that does not have a sticker sheet. This is just regular computer paper. Um, it is two pages long. It looks like we get cut off here at 37. And then we go on to 38. These are really small and um, they're not the most, honestly, they're not the most legible. Like some of them are blurry, like that Z and A. They're so small. I'll probably print this up and zoom in on it to make it bigger. Um, so it has the num how many colors it has their code their DMC about how many colors of that drill and then how many bags you should have so it looks like I should have 44 bags and then a small thumbnail okay so let's look at these drills guys um, like I said this is a round diamond painting and I can see I'm not really sure how this order goes. It looks like they're not necessarily in order because I don't know. I don't know what's happening. So 152, 153, nice big bag of that. 154, it's like a, it's, it, it, 
it looks almost like a brown, but I think it's a dark, dark purple. 327, 161, a gray. The 208, and then here's our 209. I guess it's 209 that they, yeah, I guess the ABs are down here somewhere. We'll see. 223, so it's obviously a lot of purples, a lot of pinks. There's the ABs. 333, 347, 552, 554, 758, 550, 316, 760, 553. Oh, we're, see, we are out of order. 762, 791, 9, 792, 793, 778, 796, 797, 818, 819, 820, 915, 993, 950, 928, 3328, 3607, 3687, 3778, 3727, 3726, 3835, 3834, 3837, 3836, 3688, 3857, and then we have our 209 AB. If you don't know what an AB is, it's, um, here's the regular 209. Let's see if you can see a difference. See that shiny coating on this one, on the round top end, and see how these are just plain purple? So that shiny coating is why it's called an AB. It stands for Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights, so it gives it a little more sparkle. Okay, so, we're going to go check out where these ABs go. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm going to put these back. They're not in really completely in order, but. All right. So 209 is um, symboled by a capital P. And so I'm going to say that. Um, Like Margaret Morales is more like a watercolory feel, I feel like. And so that's, I do feel like that's what I'm looking at because there isn't, you know, those strong, you know, lines, like they're, they're not outlining her clothes and, and everything. So I do feel like it does look like more of like a watercolory flow feel. Um, I was just looking at her like face and her hair and her robes and stuff. So the P, so the P, I see some P here. That's what it's gonna look like. So there's some P up here. Hmm. I see some P here. Very little though, not a, not a crazy amount. P here. Do I see any around her? Um. I 
I see I see some here on the sleeve. It was a decent sized bag. Okay, so I see some in these flowers here, here, down here. There's a lot down here. So there's a ton of that the 209 AB down here in these flowers. So very little up top, not a whole lot in the middle here at all. And then there's a ton in these flower, these lower flowers here. You can certainly add, you know, ABs. You could do um, some pink ABs to these flowers in her hair here. Maybe some, I, this is kind of like a blue, some blue in the strings in her hair here. That would look really pretty. The, you know, blue ABs, I think, really look really pretty. Let's see, like maybe, maybe some B. You might not want to do all of this. Maybe you do. B. What, what? 820. That's a really pretty AB, I think. Yeah, I, I, I mean, like I said, I would have to do her to know, really know what the rendering comes out like, but I can tell you that it does give me, even looking at the rendering, a, a more watercolor feel. There is a lot of confetti. We know that with flowers, but then there's a decent amount of color blocking up here. Her face um, does have some transitions in it. If there is some, like... Um, it's not color blocked because you can see it's like between threes and sixes and then some equal signs. It is kind of weird though that the three is on the outside of her face and on the inside. So we'll have to see. The three and six are are both her face and then outside of this the outline that makes her face. So we'll have to see how that works out. Yeah, it looks like all of this is like the same shading. So we'll have to see how that plays out. It just might be like how it gives you that watercolor feel. I don't know. But really looking forward to doing this one. I'm looking forward to doing any DIY moon, <laughs> honestly. Um, I've been diamond painting for over... For almost a year and a half now and you know this is the first time I've ever touched one of their canvases so very excited I have two more paintings that I'll end up showing you eventually but this is the one that I pulled out of the box today all right guys if you liked this video if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out and if you want to see more from me go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Canvas Crafts. I would love to have you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Keep diamond painting.